Hey everyone, this is Martin Solveig and I'm here at Ushuaia Ibiza. Yes, very well, because it's super recent. It's just a year ago, or a bit more than a year ago. And it was, uh, of course, with my friend David Guetta. The stage at Ushuaia and the setup of the club is very impressive because you have people everywhere. You have people, of course, in front of you, but you also have people in the rooms. And so it, I don't know, it has this unique vibe of a spaceship. And I guess for a few hours, you're the captain of the spaceship. So it's very, very fun. It's super fun. And, um, and, and yeah, it's, it's quite impressive too. Being French and making electronic music is, of course, something very special. Because uh, when I started to release my first tracks, imagine it was in the end of the 90s, 99. Uh, at the time, Daft Punk already had their first album, even maybe their second album, the Stardust track. So there was this sort of enormous blast of the French house uh, movement at the time. And of course, it's been, a, it's been a, a, a huge help for, I guess, all the French artists that arrived after. And uh, even if I was not making the same kind of music, it was a big help for me. And it definitely probably helped me break through the house music scene, which was more my scene. The inspiration of the new album, which is called Back to Life, by the way, is very simple. It's in one word, it's now. Uh, especially during the last couple years and also during the COVID time, I've been watching a lot people and the world evolve so drastically. Quite, I've, I've been quite impressed by how fast the change were going in some places and it clearly inspired me some of the theme of the songs, especially the even bigger impact of all the social networks that you can find in tracks like Allo Allo typically are Another one that is not released yet called Coffee at Tiffany's, which is quite fun. But also now or never, the emergency to live. And uh, finally, one track that I'm going to release soon called I Don't Want to Work. That is also a big inspiration of today. Of course, it's very easy to answer the question of my biggest collaboration because I've been working with Madonna and Madonna is the queen. And there is only one queen and it's Madonna. So it's easy. Well, I've, I'm thinking about the new generation every day because I'm over 40 so I'm definitely in the age of transmitting definitely transmitting and and I'm actually sh exchanging and sharing a lot with uh, uh, artists in their 20s in a way from the time when I started everything changed completely uh, can you imagine that when I started there was no social social media at all there was it was the beginning of the internet basically so of course the ways to make yourself heard were completely different so it was the, the change is enormous but the spirit actually i think is quite the same so it's always the same answer basically for the new generation is be yourself be special don't make the same thing that someone else is already doing because it's not getting you anywhere. Believe in yourself. Don't be disappointed uh, if it doesn't work immediately. It's also through consistency and courage through time that you will see that things can actually evolve and you will learn from everything that's not necessarily working as you want. But most importantly, please, from day one to now, have fun. Have fun making music, have fun it has to be, it's all about having fun. If you're, if you're doing this for another reason than having fun in the first place, I guess you're probably in the wrong path. When I'm not making music, one of the things I love is to read audiobooks. I don't know if you read audiobooks, but I love audiobooks because, especially because I can relax my eyes because we, we watch a lot of, you know, screens all day, working on the phones, etc. So. So I love the relaxing aspect of listening to a text and I read uh, a lot of old classics at this time I'm um, reading uh, a classic by Dostoevsky. Well, if there was a movie about my, about my life, uh, the guy that I would love to uh, play me would be Edward Norton. It would be like a, a huge privilege 
to, to have Edward Norton playing Martin Solveig. And the theme would be, of course, it's an easy one, Hello. If I could sum up Ushuaia Ibiza in one track, I would probably say Titanium by David Guetta. I think uh, David is probably the incarnation uh, or the biggest incarnation of, it's not the only one, but it's the biggest incarnation in, in my opinion of, of Ushuaia Ibiza for sure and maybe of Ibiza itself. And um, yeah, and I'm, I'm very, very impressed uh, by everything he's done and I'm proud of his success and proud to be his friend. One thing you don't know about me is that I also care a lot about the future generations, that I do a lot of stuff connected to childhood. And one of the things that I've done is launching uh, an app of audio stories for kids between zero to 10 years old. Uh, to help them entertain and learn things far from the screens to avoid the overexposition of the screen uh, for, the, for the young generation. It's called Alma Studio.